I can't get out of this chair until I build the NFL's first ever 20 and 0 team. But I have to draft. Hopefully I don't fail like last time. Now for the biggest dopamine rush, which pick do we get in the draft? Oh no, dude, we don't pick until number 23. Oh my gosh, that means all of the good quarterbacks are gone. At least there's still some good players left, but my god, dude, we missed out on a ton of superstars. Dude, the best quarterback left is Kirk Cousins, man. Oh, this is is an absolute disaster already and I haven't even made my first pick. God, dude, 20-0 might actually be impossible. But since there's so many quality running backs available, I probably won't take CMC with my first round pick, although he's very good. Travis Kelsey, I feel like will drop a little bit as well, so I might as well get a defensive player that a position doesn't have that many high-rated players. And the one that sticks out to me right now is my boy Maximum Crosby, who's gonna be the selection. Hopefully this right here isn't an absolute stinker. At least Madden thinks I started off well. Now who the heck is available here for our second round pick? CMC's gone, but Travis Kelsey's still there. I mean, there's still a lot of good players left. Honestly, like, it'd probably be smart to, you know, scour the market and get the absolute best pick, but come on. We need high-rated players at this point. I think I'm just gonna take a member of the 99 club, Travis Kelsey. Hopefully, this isn't the beginning of building an old person's home. Even though he's in 99 rated, Madden thinks that was crap. Now, with our third round select, Election. There's some decent players there. Like, do I go ahead and grab myself a Derrick Henry or will he still be there next round? Maybe I can get Saquon next round? The talent at receiver is already pretty bad. Like, should I go ahead and draft myself a receiver or do I wait? Because there's still some really good players left and obviously we need good offensive linemen to do good. Not going undefeated without a quality offensive lineman, so I might as well continue building an old person's home for right now and get myself a 98 rated left tackle who again apparently i took 60 picks ahead of his adp now round number four zach martin's still there so is derrick henry how about joe mixon so saquon got took i think i just want to make sure i get ourselves a quality running back derrick henry welcome to dallas I mean, at least that was apparently a good pick now in round five there's a match Massive talent drop off. Who's left at quarterback? Kirk Cousins, Aaron Rodgers, all the young guys are gone. So, like, eventually, I think we're just gonna have to take ourselves a veteran. Hopefully, 96 year old Aaron Rodgers can lead us to a 20 0 record. Now, the wide receiver position is an absolute stinker. Uh, I might as well go ahead and get myself a receiver before it's way too bad, even though I feel bad about taking an 83 overall receiver in the fifth round. I think George Pickens is going to be the move. It was it terrible? Now, in round number six, I think without a doubt, we need to go defense. There's still some decent safeties out there. Now, cornerback, it's already lacking quite a bit. Darius Williams is still there, but I'm not going to use a six-round selection on a 30-year-old 85 rated. Dude, I honestly might go defensive tackle. Christian Wilkins is still there. He's definitely not a scheme fit, though. Like, should I just say screw it and go ahead and get Honey Badger? Like, he is a really good player. Still be here. Let's get ourselves a leader on the the defensive side of the football. Good pick. Oh my god, we're at the point where Kenny Pickett's getting selected. We're in the seventh round. There's no way like your Aaron Rodgers and other players are gone. They are. That is not good. Oh no. Well, fellas, uh, we might be starting the season with Joe Flacco as our starter. I'm not using a seventh round pick on Geno Smith or Russell Wilson, dude. It's just not happening. There's guys like David Bakhtiari left. You know what? Joel Batonio is probably the best quality player we can add to the team. That semi a scheme fit. So we'll go ahead and take them. It's probably a little bit too early and Madden thinks so. I'm the only person that cannot stand that in-game player face. Dude looks like a toe. Now round eight here, dude, just off to get go. He stuck around for a few more rounds than I thought he would. Matthew Milano, he's going to be the selection and be the leader of that linebacker court. Apparently was a fantastic selection. Who the heck is left at quarterback? Russell Wilson, Derek Carr. I mean, I could take Sam Howell. Ooh, tight end. I didn't even think about that. But I... 
Kyle wouldn't mind taking a Trey McBride type. Dalton Kincaid's still there too. Maybe we can wait on them another round or so. But I think I want to continue to add to the offensive line. Sam Kaisme here is a scheme fit. He's young. Very good player. Not good development, but he should be a starter for us. And he looks just like our last offensive lineman pick. We're at round 10, and I just thought about the fact that I don't think we've drafted a cornerback yet. And it's not looking good. It is not good, fellas. But what we can do is go ahead and take a defensive tackle in Javon Hargrave, who's going to anchor that defensive line. He looks ready. Honestly, dude, because he's sitting there. He's a high rated. Uh, this is an old person's home already. Bobster the Lobster is going to be the selection. And is it just me, or does he not look too happy? How are we looking here in the 12th round? Oh, that's just not good, dude. Like, what do I even do? You know what? I think I'm going to continue to add to the offensive line. We could go scheme fit in Connor Williams but I'm looking at 87 rated Corey Lindsley, 86 rated scheme fit for us. I'm going to make this pick and we might have an old offensive line, but we're going to have a good one. We're here in round 13, dude. And I still have absolutely no idea what to do with the quarterback position. Surely these guys are going to get selected in the 13th round. And unfortunately, all the tight ends that I wanted left, like, do I just sign Jake Ferguson? Like, uh, I don't know. I'm going to take him. I need a good tight end. I need at least one half decent one. And apparently it was a horrible Big. Oh, I just realized, dude, I'm a moron. I think I am going to go ahead and get ourselves another receiver. I'm going to make sure he's a scheme fit. I can't believe I'm taking Rondell Moore. But, like, who else am I going to start at receiver at this point? God, dude, they took Daniel Jones. I got to take quarterback. I have to. And, like, I got to take Will Levis. I'm not taking one of those other guys. I got to take a youngster, even though Madden thinks that was stinky. 16th round selection, dude, and I still haven't drafted a corner. You know what? Let's just go ahead ahead and finish out the offensive line. There are some okay young players here. Andrew Wiley, he could be the pick. I'm talking about he's 29. Now, Austin Jackson is actually a scheme fit. You know what? He's not a rookie, but we'll go with the scheme fit. Oh, that's probably my worst pick so far. Now, the right-in position, I could go Leonard Floyd. I could go Chandler Jones. He's the only scheme fit left. Will McDonald, he's just so far off of what we need. Like, he's a young player young rookie hidden development but I feel like we can do better than that you know what I might just go ahead and take Marcus Peters like he's 30 years old normal development at all but we need some half decent talent at cornerback and finally 29 rounds in basically we get ourselves our first corner I think I'm gonna take EJ Speed here why because ironically he's fast but I could convert him over to left outside linebacker which we need one and he's probably by far the best option although man doesn't think so now with our nice 19th round selection, let's just say screw it. Take a fullback. 88 rated Kyle Hughes check. At least we have the best fullback in the league. We don't have a right in yet. And honestly, ah, I think I'm just gonna go Leonard Floyd. I mean, another guy, 30 years old or older, but experience at a position we don't have anybody at yet, I'll take whatever I can get. Now that we've made it through 20 rounds, I'm gonna go ahead and simulate to the end of the draft, but once it's over, I'm gonna have five minutes to improve Prove my team via the trade market. So we're not done building this team just yet. So the squad comes in at an 87 overall with a 91 offense and 84 defense. Now, for starters, if we can improve at the quarterback position and maybe add another receiver, this offense could be the best in the NFL. Now, defensively, we definitely have some holes to fill, but it's not completely impossible. Now, I've got to make this count because I only have five total attempts to achieve a 20-0 record. And if I I fail. I have to give away this year's number one NFL draft picks jersey away to a lucky random subscriber in the comments. I just got married. I'm broke. I don't need to be wasting any more money. But we now have five minutes to improve our team starting now. So obviously the first thing we gotta do is improve the quarterback situation. I love Will Levis, but 70 overall is too low to go 20-0. So we're gonna have to trade a lot, but I I've gotta get a quarterback that at least can be halfway competent. I don't have a lot of time to be picky so Brock Purdy let's just try it 
off the get-go. So Will Levis, let's also, we're going to have to trade our first round pick for him. So Will Levis, a first round pick, that's just not good at all. So I don't know if Brock Purdy's on the cards. We have so many other positions that we need to improve. So like, what about even a CJ Stroud? Like, can we get CJ Stroud? Maybe we can come back to him. Like, even an 80 overall, I would take. Like, maybe a Jared Goff type wouldn't be bad just as a filler. Like, it's definitely better than an 80 overall. Jordan Love could even be nice. Uh, like, I can't be way, way too picky here. Aaron Rodgers, I would, I would like to have. Maybe he's a little bit too old. I would love to have Patrick, but that's just not gonna work. So, like, what do I do? Do I go for Justin Herbert? Like, is this a thing? No, definitely not. I might have to go back, boys. Um, Justin Fields would be nice. Kirk Cousins, possibly. But I think the move, boys, is to go back to possibly CJ Stroud. Maybe we go for Jordan Love. We'll have it in the first round pick for Jordan Love, and it's in the green. So this might actually be a pretty good pick. Third round selection. Submit it through. Oh, we don't have enough time to be dealing with this nonsense. Running back, Ronald Jones. Submit this through. And fellas, we have our brand new starting quarterback, but we have got to move ASAP. We still need ourselves a quality wide receiver, and I'll take anybody. Like, I will take Calvin Ridley if I can. Calvin Ridley, uh, like, is a second round pick enough for him? I have no idea. It's in the orange, so that's, that's definitely solid. Let's go for a third round pick from 2026. Submit it through. Maybe if we throw in a wide receiver of our own, like, oh, Kadero Hodge, and maybe we have Jake Ferguson that we can trade away since I accidentally selected him. How about our backup quarterback? Submit this through. And Calvin Ridley is now a Dallas Cowboy. Now, we have about two minutes left, so I still have a chance to improve this squad. Maybe I can get multiple players from the same team to kind of save time. Marcus Williams off the bat would love him. I would absolutely love him at cornerback. I mean, I would like Asante Samuel if possible, but I feel like this is going to take a ton to trade away. So let's try our now current starting free safety. We'll also try trading away our third corner. Now we have to throw in a buttload of draft picks. Our first round pick from this year. Is that enough? Ooh, dude! We're about to get ourselves an absolute good deal. Like, what? I'm, I'm not complaining, just uh, sort of confused. Throwing Quez Watkins into the deal. We have ourselves our brand new starting free safety in cornerback. But we got to keep moving. We for sure need ourselves a good defensive end. And I really don't have that much time to be picky. Honestly, just looking for a decent player that's considered a scheme fit for us. Jeffrey Simmons from the 49ers kind of fits that billing. We have under a minute to get this deal done. And I want to try to get a little bit more. Like even another 80 rated cornerback, dude, I would take. And I also threw in Braxton Jones, maybe to start him at right tackle, but I've got to be like super, super fast with this. The first round pick, and let's throw in a third from next year. So see how close this is off the bat. It's in the yellow, so there's a little bit of potential, but we really don't have that much time left. So we throw in right in Leonard Floyd. We also throw in the right tackle that I had, Austin Jackson. And also, let's just, just try this. Submit this through. It's the climb. We have eight seconds to complete this, dude. Five seconds. Oh, come on. A Travis Homer. Submit this through. It was accepted at the death. We had Jeff Simmons, Emerson, and Braxton Jones. And if we generate our best lineup, he now up to a 90 overall with a 93 offense versus an 88 defense. I mean, we've got to have the best offensive line in the league. I mean, we got good weapons in Derrick Henry and Travis Kelsey with a now very good quarterback in Jordan Love. Not to mention a pretty good receiving core. Calvin Ridley, George Pickens, and Rondale Moore. And we've got to have one of the best D lines in the entire league. And we now have very good depth at the cornerback position, not to mention a really good safety tandem. And I don't know where it came from, but a good omen to start the season. We have two of our cornerbacks with upgrades. I'll take every upgrade possible. So the moment of truth, did I create the first NFL team to ever go 20-0? If we don't get it done this time, I only have four more attempts. How did we go 10-7? This game gives my body a virus. Now you know what can protect us from a virus? NordVPN. You can be protected from cybersecurity attacks in just a single click. And luckily right now, every purchase of a two-year NordVPN plan will receive an exclusive discount plus an additional four bonus months when you use my link nordvpn.com slash rvt. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash rvt. Are you tired of not being able to watch your favorite sports team because of blackouts? And that's where NordVPN has personally came in clutch for me. So many times I want to go watch
gotcha game and the dumb thing was blacked out. But like magic, I can load up NordVPN, connect to a server on the other side of the country, and voila, I can watch my game. Literally with just the click, you can be connected to a different server far, far away so you can actually watch your favorite team. They also offer threat protection, they block malware, they protect your data, and you can choose VPN servers from everywhere so you can enjoy secure access to hundreds of streaming sites across the globe. Now, if you want to be protected and want to enjoy a whole world of new content, get NordVPN now while the offer lasts. I mean, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee, so give NordVPN a shot. Again, the best deal is through my link, NordVPN.com, or you can just simply click my link in the description box below for a huge discount and for additional months. Now, I'd like to thank NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into the rest of it. We had the seventh best offense in the league. Defensively, we were top 10, so we were a good team. We ran the ball well. I just wonder if it came down to not having the greatest receiving core. I mean, can we at least win the Super Bowl? No. Those daggum lions got us. Fellas, we retire and go again. Try the Ravens this time. Just please tell me this time I get a top 10 pick. We got the very last pick. Oh, no. Oh, God, dude. The quarterback position sucks again. You know what, dude? This time, I'm gonna go with Christian McCaffrey. I'm gonna give ourselves a stud of a running back. Hopefully, he could run for 5,000 yards or else I'm screwed. Now, who's even available here for our second pick? Like, do I go Travis Kelsey a second straight draft? Or do I help our defense out here with a solid deep tackle, Quinnen Williams? You know what? I think that's gonna be the move. An absolute stud. Round three, let's switch things up here and actually go with Lane Johnson. <laughs> apparently was not the best of picks. And dude, Trent Williams is still there. I mean, like, I, I can't pass up an almost 99 rated player. What, the fourth round? Yeah, it might be me trading for cornerbacks again. Although, I, I can get Christian Gonzalez, but I don't want to use a fifth round pick on that. You know what? I might as well grab ourselves at least one very quality receiver, and we're gonna get that here, Mr. Crystal Lave. Best receiver the Ravens have had for the past decade. Grandfather Matt Stafford's getting taken in the Six around, dude. God, this is diabolical. I mean, in the Ravens offense, they really could use a top-notch tight end, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab Evan Ingram. Hopefully, can fill that Mark Andrews role. Struggle with our seventh round pick, I might just go ahead and go Micah Hyde, or possibly could go with Xavier McKinney here. You know what? Let's go with the little younger option, Xavier McKinney. Was the correct pick. And I guess let's go ahead and finish up the safety tandem and grab ourselves Jordan Poyer here. Back to back good picks. That looks nothing like Jordan Poyer. And defensive line is so garbage right now. I can't believe with my ninth round pick, I'm going quitty pay. Like, I have really no other option here. We made it to the 10th round, and again, I don't have a quarterback. And you know what? I'm scheming here. I am actually, I think, gonna go running back next pick. Kyron Williams, I know I have a CMC, but just, just hold your opinions. Hold your slander. I think I'm gonna go offensive line again, get another youngster, a talented one in that, and Tevin Jenkins. Although, I probably could have waited a few rounds. I'm gonna make sure that Kyron Williams doesn't get selected. Again, I'm scheming. Don't give me any slander, just yet at least. Even Mad thinks it's a good pick. Although, he's not happy to join us in Baltimore. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself my defensive into Mike Dana here. Is gonna be added to the squadron. That was just another bad pick from yours truly. I could use another receiver, and I think I'm just gonna grab the rookie here, Josh Downs. So I can't believe I actually made it this far in the draft. Now, issue here is I have really zero linebackers and zero quarterbacks drafted. You know what? I'll go Kazir White. I need a middle linebacker. Does this team fit? Although Madden thinks that was dumb. Let me take a younger cornerback this time in Kyler Gordon. He'll already be the youngest cornerback on the last team we drafted. He's just not the fastest. I do need center. I might as well just go ahead and grab Connor Williams. He's, you know, one of the best centers in the league and he's still here. I guess I go ahead and say screw it in the 17th round here and finish out my offensive line and select a french fry. I guess again I go with the grandpa and Patrick Peterson. I guess I just go ahead and take Brandon Graham here. He's like the only guy that's a scheme fit. At least he does still have star development. Terrible
terrible pick, apparently. And with my 20th selection of this fantasy draft, like, do I just go with the highest rated player? Like, part of me just wants to take Raheem Mostert and see what I can do with him. You know what? Let's do it. Raheem Mostert, we'll see you in Baltimore, buddy. And I just thought about the fact, fellas, I didn't draft a single quarterback. So, we're, we're probably quite a bit screwed here. Hopefully, the game will draft a quarterback for me because after round 20, we've now got to advance to the end of the draft. Gross. Our team comes in at an 84 overall with an 89 offense and an 80 defense. Dude, I have so much work to do here. Honestly, I could use a whole new linebacker core. And obviously, I can't go into the season with Jameis Winston as my starting quarterback. We 100% have our work cut out for us here. Hopefully, I can make these five minutes count, which begins now. And the first thing I'm going to do, fellas, I did it strategically. I got to trade away CMC because I've got to get myself a top quarterback to make this work. Now, where is Lamar? Like, what are the odds I could bring Lamar back? He's a Miami Dolphin. Now, I'm sitting here thinking about it. I doubt this will be accepted. It's about halfway. So, there is potential to bring Lamar back, but this is going to be rough. What if I went ahead and threw in Raheem Mostert? I know it's two running backs in the same deal. They might not like that. Didn't even bump up. So, that's kind of unfortunate. But let's see what we can do here. I threw in Jameis Winston in the deal and threw in a juicy little first round pick. Submit this through. I don't think we're going to be able to get Lamar. That is rather unfortunate. I, I've got to settle on another quarterback and I've got to do it fast. How about Josh Allen? Can I do CMC for Josh Allen straight up? No, but it's very, very, very close. So now, if I threw in like a second round pick, is this enough? Not quite. But what if I threw in like a third from next year? I got to make sure I save time here. Submit it through. It's getting super close. What if we went uh, Melvin Gordon? Submit this through. Come on, accept it, please. It's declined again. I can't be wasting all this freaking time, dude. What if we're doing a fifth round pick from 2026? Please be enough. We have our brand new starting QB. But no time to waste, dude. We got to keep this thing rolling. Like I said, dude, I need an entire new linebacking core. I take Rashawn Gary. That's for sure. I would take Andrew Van Ginkle. And screw it. Let's throw in, I don't know, McCole Hardman. Let's see if we can make this deal go through. So we do have Raheem Mostert that I would like to trade away. We can start Kyron Williams. So we also, let me throw, uh, let me try my first round pick from next year. See how close this is to being accepted. It's in the green. So there's some potential. So if we throw in our third round pick as well, is this enough to see the deal through? Not quite. Now, what if I threw in a few of the players that we already have? Like, what if we threw in Jamison Crowder and also at the outside linebacker core? How about old Justin Houston? How about this one? It was accepted. That's huge. Still a little bit over two minutes to improve this team, which does still need a lot of improving. Need improving a right guard? I'll take Shaq Mason. Let's see who else this team's got. Demarcus Lawrence would be nice. Elijah Kansi might would be too. How about Shadobi? Woozy and James Bradbury. Let's see if we can get two quarterbacks for the price of one. We'll throw a Will Fries in the deal. We'll also throw in a few of the cornerbacks. Like, uh, we'll throw Tavon Young in there. And then, obviously, they're gonna have to trade away some draft picks. How about a second from 2025? So, made it through. I mean, there's a little bit of potential, but we still have quite a bit of work to do. How about a 2026 second as well? Submit it through. It's declined. Come on, stop playing with me, dude. I guess we go at the first round pick from 2025. 26. We need this deal big time. It was accepted. So we're improving the team. We still have a minute to go. Our number one need is middle linebacker and I have got to find one fast. You know what, dude? I'll take Nick Bolton if, if that's a possibility. We'll take Cameron Hayward too. I just, I don't know if we're going to have enough time. Like, I could also use another receiver if possible, but I, I don't think I have time to be fiddling here. Like, Tyler Boyd, I'll take you if possible. So let's throw in some draft picks. 20 seconds to go here, fellas. So a first round pick from this year. We still have a second and a third. We'll submit this bad boy through. It's decline. We have 13 seconds to make some magic happen. Maybe we just take out Tyler Boyd and maybe even Nick Bolton. Like, oh, uh, there's five seconds left. I'm going to try something fast here. Khalif Raymond, one second. Submit it through. It is declined. So that's unfortunate. I mean, we did improve the squad up to an 89 overall with a 91 offense and an 87 defense. And I mean, this defense isn't perfect, but it's much better than what we started with. Honestly, don't know if this team has it in them, but you best believe I'd be a happy boy if we could go 17-0. and Can we at least just win more games than what we did with the Cowboys? If we don't complete the challenge here, we only have three attempts remaining. God, 14-3 and is good, but not good enough. All three of our loss 
losses came within a four game stretch. Can we at least win the Super Bowl this time? No. At least as a Titans fan, this makes me happy. Hopefully third time will be a charm for us with the Chiefs. Just please, for once, can I actually get a top 10 pick? Yes, we get pick number nine. Like, I, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know who we get here at quarterback, but hopefully it's better than what we've had the last few drafts. At the quarterback position left, we have Jalen Hurts and Kirk Cousins. Like, do I take Jalen Hurts here? Or do I say, screw it, and get Justin Jefferson, dude? Uh, Justin Jefferson could be nasty. He could be so nasty. Like, do I risk just trading for another quarterback? I, I can't pass up on Justin Jefferson, dude. I just, I just cannot do it. Third best player in the entire draft. We get him at nine. Don't mind if I do. With pick number two, bro, I could still get CMC. Like, do I go Justin Jefferson, CMC, then Travis K? Kelsey if he's available. This time I'm gonna take CMC but I'm actually gonna use him. Now with our third round selection, Travis Kelsey is still there, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger for the second time, and we have got off to an absolute incredible start. Now I think here with the fourth round selection, we probably need to go defense, or do I just go offensive line again? Or do I go ahead and make sure we grab a good QB? You know what? Let's just take best offensive lineman left, Zach Martin, 98 rated. I haven't taken him yet the first time today first time in his career he's a chief seriously dude part of me wants to take kirk cousins so we actually get ourselves a solid quarterback and we don't necessarily have to trade for one i think that's exactly what I'm gonna do here, and it was a huge reach. Now, this defense needs a solid defensive tackle, and I think we're gonna get that in Christian Wilkins. He's no Chris Jones, but he's still pretty solid himself. Honestly, let's just go top player available. Like, he's been a chief before. He's gonna be a chief again here, and it was a good pick. You know what, dude? At this point in the draft, I'm really wanting to take offensive tackle. David Boxyar is not a scheme fit, though. You know what, dude? Who cares? He's the top player left on the board. He's kind of been banged up a little bit, but he's going to return to his prime to protect Kirk Cousins and the Chiefs. You know what? I think this right here is a perfect fit. Adding Logan Wilson to the outside linebacker position, and it was a pretty solid pick. I've already made it to round 10, and I'm going to go free safety this time. First time we've taken Malik Hooker. He's a solid free safety. I don't know why he's only normal development. Let's go ahead and also add a middle linebacker. We're gonna grab ourselves Cole Holcomb here. That just looks nothing like him. We still do need the left in position. Eric Armstead still there. I think this is a absolute perfect fit. At least Madden thinks I did good here. We don't have a left guard yet and I don't really like the ones available. So I think what I'm gonna do here is take Kevin Zietler for the second time in three drafts and convert him over to left guard even though I apparently could have got him like five rounds later. And go ahead and add ourselves another pretty solid offensive lineman that again, I feel like we could have got later. Now we're going to go ahead and get our wide receiver number two. I think Curtis Samuel will slide right in. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab Caleb here to be our right tackle and that's going to finish out the offensive line. We do not have a right end yet. And I think I'm going to go with Samson Ebukam. I feel like he'll be decent in our defense. We don't have a left outside linebacker yet either. So I think I'm just going to go boy Mafe which I am rethinking this selection since he apparently can't move on from Seattle. Unfortunately, we are at the point where I'm forced to take crap at cornerback, but Pat Pete again for what third time. And honestly, dude, I'm just going to give ourselves another talented running back. CMC and Raheem Mostert's going to be a pretty solid one-two punch. And honestly, dude, I have to say, I feel like this might be our best draft yet. Hopefully, that means we can go 20-0, because if we don't, I only have two chances left to go. I mean, the squad comes in at an 88 overall with a 93 offense and 83 defense. Again, it's just the defense that's lacking, but hopefully we can improve a bit. I've got to do my best here, man, because I'm telling you, this is my best shot. Let's get the five minutes rolling now. Joe Burrow, I'm going after him. I know we already have Kirk Cousins, but I feel like we can do better if we have a stud quarterback. Now, if I throw in Kirk Cousins and Mostert straight up, it's foul. Ugh, oh, that wasn't even halfway. But let's see. If we can't get Burrow, we'll try for somebody else. Unfortunately, we have the, like, last first round pick. Submit this through, and yeah, boys, that might might not happen. Maybe we can go after a quarterback a little bit lower of an overall. And my target is 
probably... Oh, no. Who's it gonna be? Justin Herbert, I feel like, is a good shout. How about Cousins and Mostert? Just straight up. And it's got a little bit of potential here. So what if we threw in our second round pick and a second round pick from next year? I need to save as much time as humanly possible. It's in the green, so that's always a solid. What if I just threw in my first round pick instead of two seconds? How close is this? It's accepted straight up. We have Justin Herbert as our starting quarterback, and we gotta move forward here. Now, I 100% have got to get some better cornerbacks. Jonathan Jones is solid. Could even try to add Aiden Hutchinson. Imagine the seeds if we can actually get this done. So obviously, trade our right in, and we'll go and also throw in our corners are so bad. Trey Flowers. How about our second round pick? How close is this? And that is just not ideal at all. So maybe we go for Zedarius Smith instead. Submit it through. It's about halfway. Uh, I mean, we, we got to make this deal work, dude. We've just got to. Maybe a second and two thirds. Submit it through. It's declined again. So it might actually take a first round pick, maybe our 2026 first round pick for Jonathan Jones and Zedarius Smith, and the trade was accepted, so two more huge pieces added to the squad. Now, I do also want to try and improve at the right tackle position, even if it's just by a little bit. How about Zach Tom, potentially? What if we could add Brian Burns as well? Dude, that would be huge. What about cornerback? Uh, De uh I there's just no way, right? Like, I'm just wasting my time with this, aren't I? But throw in our right tackle, obviously. He's just not a scheme fit. Throw in Mafe. Also throw in Mike Jackson. And then it's going to take a bunch of draft picks. We have a first from next year and a second from next year. We'll submit this through, see how it's looking. It was accepted. That is insane. And I am not asking questions. Uh, let's move on. We can still continue to improve. We still have a little bit over a minute left to go. Maybe I can actually add us a little bit better of a receiver. Dude, what about DK Metcalf? Calf. Him and Juwan Bentley and throw into Nico Autry like why not? Give you every good pick I have left. I have uh, that is it's really it's not that many. We have three, a second, a third, a fourth. Submit this through and it's declined. That's not optimal. Less than 10 seconds left. Maybe we can't get DK, but maybe I'll throw in Michael Thomas. Hopefully this will be accepted. It's declined. And unfortunately, our time is out. But I still think we did a pretty good job there. I mean, we improved the squad up to an 89 overall with a 93 offense and 85 defense. I mean, come on. This defense is looking so much better. After converting a few positions around, we actually bumped up to a 90 with an 87 defense. I'm telling you guys, if this team doesn't go 17-0, I don't know if it's physically possible. 15-2! Dude, we got so close! We literally lost two out of our last three games. Are you serious? We had the best offense in the league. Our defense, was that not best defense too? We had the best defense too. How was I supposed to do any better? Dude, Herbert went crazy. McCaffrey went crazy. Jefferson, Kelsey went crazy. Like, I feel like I actually had the right plan. I drafted the right players. I just feel like we got a little unlucky. So maybe I use the same strategy with our next draft and at least win the Super Bowl for once. Finally. Well, I guess imagine we actually went 17-0 and lost the very last game. So I'm kind of glad I didn't go through that heartbreak. We only have two more chances. And a little different strategy is I'm going to give it a shot with the Chicago Bears. All I'm asking for here, dude, is the first overall pick. We get number 12, which isn't horrible, but Justin Jefferson just went. I mean, I still could get Tyreek Hill. But I'm not taking Kirk Cousins. That's just not happening. Guess Tyreek is going to be the pick. I mean, he is a scheme fit. Hopefully, he can put up a little bit better numbers than Justin Jefferson did. Jerry Goff went in the second round. That is mental. And yes, I know. Boring. Same strategy, though. We are gonna go CMC. Hopefully this time we cannot lose those two games. And yes, we are grabbing Travis Kelsey again. Bite me. I know. Boring. I'm just doing what's best for the squad. I think here we are gonna grab ourselves a solid defensive tackle in Vita Vea to be our first selected defensive player of this draft. So big boy. Kirk Cousins is still there, but I'll, I'll pass. Go ahead and add another offensive lineman. I'm going to take ourselves Joseph Thune here. Why are none of the offensive linemen's face in the game? And yep, I guess we're not going to be taking a 
a quarterback for a long time. I think this time I'm actually gonna go with Marcus Williams. A little bit different choice here at free safety. Let me be a little bit different at the middle linebacker position. This time we're gonna go after the veteran Shaquille Thompson. And I do think for the second straight draft it's gonna be wise to go Logan Wilson again. Did good for us last draft. Why not go strong safety here? First time we're taking the old grandfather Harrison Smith. Is there so many dang good defensive tackles left? Like, why not grab two talented ones? Need a left tackle here. Garrett Bowles isn't a bad one to draft this late. And I think for the second time today, I'm gonna go ahead and select Quiddy Pay. Young store development, I think will be a good fit in our defense. Another scheme fit that we're gonna take here, gonna go ahead and grab ourselves Leo. Why you look so stiff? We're at the point where I might as well go and grab ourselves a center. And I think, like in route, what, 16 right now? Ryan Kelly is a very good quality center to grab all so apparently we reached big time. I might as well go ahead and go right tackle to finish out the offensive line. I'll McCary in the last draft, so I think this time we'll go with the veteran Morgan Moses, 84 overall, even though he isn't really a scheme fit. Don't have a right in yet, so that's not too good. I mean, I guess I could just go Leonard Floyd again. Back to Chicago he goes. Ooh, as our wide receiver two, I think I'm gonna go Romeo Dubs here. I think that's a real good quality pick in the 18th round. Is this another instance where I just go Raheem Moster because I can? Why doesn't he go until so late? Well, we haven't drafted a quarterback yet. I don't think any of them's worth actually taking. So do we go cornerback? I mean, to be fair, kid, is it worth taking any of these guys? I mean, given the circumstances, we might as well just take quarterback and use Will Levis in a trade again to get a better QB. I mean, I really don't know how to feel about that draft. Like, we didn't get quarterback until late. But outside of that, it was very similar to our last draft, which was by design because it was so close to go in 17 and 0 and we only have one more chance after this to actually complete the challenge and i really would much prefer not to dip into the bank account i mean i'm pretty certain this is the highest overall team we've built from the get-go. I think at an 85, this is the best defense yet. And that's without getting ourselves a better quarterback. So, boys, we might actually have a legitimate shot here to do something special. Uh, don't mind if I do. And what makes me super excited about this is the fact that the Bears own some pretty high draft picks. So, maybe we can actually get something special here. Hopefully, these are the best five minutes of my life. We definitely need cornerback but I'm gonna go after a quarterback first and why not try and get Joe Burrow again if it's possible so first thing on top of my head we will try Will Levis also throw in Raheem Mostert who we drafted late for this purpose and let's use a top 10 pick and see how close this is it's not looking good but we can use that number one overall selection and hopefully get kind of close it, it didn't go up at all so I need to uh, go after plan B again what about two got Justin Herbert last time let's go for the lefty here let's see if we can get him for the ninth overall selection submit this bad boy through and it's in the yellow so that's at least a little bit of positivity so maybe we don't have to use that number one pick just yet how about a third thrown into the deal also I'll try a third from next year hopefully this is enough not quite so we have a bunch of second round picks so let's use one of our seconds from next year is this enough to land Tua, and it is. We get ourselves our brand new starting quarterback, but I, I'm just going full force, brother. Full force. We're not even close to as good as I want to make this team. We don't even have four minutes to do so. So obviously, I want to go after a top-notch corner here. Maybe Derek Stingley Jr. is the one. Also want a good second receiver, so Depot would be nice. Maybe I could also add Gregory Rousseau here. I, like This would be such a huge haul. I have good draft picks. I just don't know how like useful they actually are. The number one overall pick for a massive haul. So maybe it through it's about halfway so there's actually some potential there so if we trade it away ooh, let's go kj hamler in our left end position we have woody pay who's solid I'll, I'll throw in leonard floyd and also at the corner position i'll throw in jason verrett see how much closer this brings us it's in the orange so there is some potential so do i go ahead and throw in like a second let's do a second round pick here how about the other second from next year submit this bad boy through it's so close it's so 
close, dude. So let's just go with our first rounder from next year. Submit this bad boy through, and the trade was accepted. That is freaking massive. I'm not done yet, though, dude. Still so much work to do. We have barely over two minutes to do it. I still think there's a chance we can make this team 20-0 proof. We just don't have that many good draft picks left. We still have a first, so there's still a chance to bring in a superstar, too. So I'm just trying to test the waters. Trey Henderson, Darius Slate, Dre Greenlaw for a first and second, and it's in the red. So who do we have at right outside linebacker to begin with? We have Logan Wilson and Leo on the other side. So let's throw in Leo there. Let's also throw in Cameron Sutton. And we also can throw in, who's our current starting defensive end? We have Greg Rousseau and we do have, uh, forgot we do have Putty Pay. I'll still submit this through, see how close it is. It's declined and we only have 20 seconds left. So that's just not ideal. I got to make this deal go through. We don't have to, oh my gosh, I'm just pressing too many buttons. A second round pick 15 seconds ago, submit this through, it's declined. So let's actually take out. Ooh, what do we do here? Let's take out Darius Slay. I would much rather have these guys. Let's see. Just submit it through and trade is accepted. Didn't quite get the package I completely wanted there, but I feel like that's a pretty good buzzer beater. I have to say, dude, with this team being a 92 overall, with a 96 offense and 89 defense, if this team doesn't go 20 and 0, it's literally impossible. I mean, we got Tua, CMC, Tyreek Debo, and Travis Kelsey in the same offense with probably by far the best offensive line in the league and defensively by far the best defense we've drafted yet if only we could have landed Darius Slay there at the end we didn't have a lot of time I stressed out but it's still from top to bottom the best defense probably as an 89 overall in the entire league if this freaking team doesn't go 17-0 in the regular season I promise you I would have lost all hope because if we don't do it this year next draft is our final chance. Yes! Yes! We did it! 17 and 0. Thank God. Brother, I am in shock. Literally, all we have to do now is win the Super Bowl. And, and with me saying that, that sounds like a lot. So now I'm starting to stress again. But you guys don't even understand, dude. I have tried so long, dude. This is about eight hours of drafting teams. And we finally, for the first time, have gone undefeated in the regular season. And I have to admit, in the first half of the season, there were some pretty close results scattered in there. We played a lot better in the second half of the year. I can imagine, though, I went through all of that eight hours hours of work to finally go undefeated and I end up losing in the playoffs. Obviously, we had the number one offense in the entire NFL and defensively, we were 21st? That makes no sense. I mean, I guess we did allow the least amount of points and I guess at the end of the day, it's all that matters. Two all bold the frick out. And CMC with the measly 20 touchdowns on the season. And after all of that, like, our receivers really kind of spread the wealth a lot. Debo didn't even have a thousand yards. But honestly, dude, could care less about the freaking stats or the fact to a one MVP or the fact Phil won coach of the year. All that matters is that zero in the loss column. Now we've got to see, dude, who we take on in the divisional round. It's the Giants. And give me a freaking break, dude. There's a reason this team went undefeated defeated and that reason is 94 overall with a 97 offense and 91 defense. I mean, this Giants team has some studs, but they're not even close to our level. Feeling a little cocky. I predict at least a two touchdown dub here. We're playing at home so we get a 12 point victory. I'll take it. So currently 18 and 0 on the season, but now we have to take on the two seed Falcons who went 15 and 2 on the year, but look at the difference in our overall. <laughs> Pat Mahomes. Oh no. I've got to jump into the game here. This is too freaking stressful. So Patrick's going to get the football first here. If we win this, we're officially one game shy of going 20-0. Falcons, of course, 7-0. Seven 7-0. Nothing. Seven we tie things up. Our defense holds them to a field goal. We take the lead 14-10. Falcons score again. And we tie things up before halftime. They got the ball somehow. 24-17. Don't know how that happened. Tie game. Go to the fourth. They took the lead. This is stressful. We have the lead. Oh, no. Do we get the ball back? Do we win? I'm, I'm so confused. We win. We're clapping. We did it. We clapped them. 
Take that, Arthur. Oh my God, dude. 31 to 27. Like we were a minute away, dude, from losing one game shy of the Super Bowl. Like that was way too close for my freaking liking. And this day, Patrick Mahomes is exactly why. Almost 400 yards. Like that is wild. Oh, dude. But we are literally one game away. And in the Super Bowl, we will be facing the Miami Dolphins. And how poetic Tua grabs two up grades before he takes on his former team. Between our prior attempt and today's attempt, we're about eight hours in, and it all comes down to this. The Dolphins, bro, they're hot, man. They won by 17, by 21. They're the opposing one seed. If we fail going 20-0 in the 20th game, I am gonna puke. I mean, they do have a pretty solid squad, not gonna lie. Who's their quarterback? Trevor Lawrence. Surely we win. <laughs> Dude, I'm scared. Oh, dude, the blood's flowing. The adrenaline is pumping. Are the Chicago Bears going to be the first team in NFL history to go 20-0? And that, my friends, will all be decided by the click of a butt. Come on, fast start. We get the ball first. Seven to nothing. Defense. Big stop. Oh, God, they stopped us. We home to a field goal. This is such a weird low-scoring game, and we're down now. Dude, get the ball back. We take the lead going into halftime. We get the ball. It's a touchdown game. Dolphins got the ball. Tie things up in the fourth quarter. Oh, no. They're going to take the lead. We got the ball back. What is going on? We got the ball. Overtime. Oh, no. Did we score a touchdown? The answer. We win. We win. Yes. Yes, we do it. We did it. Huge. The curse has been broken on the channel. Officially, the first team in NFL history to finish the season 20-0. And let me tell you something, boys. This right here took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to a now officially a channel legend. Now, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Like, surely you did, dude. And now if you did, you can please like the video if you haven't and subscribe to the channel. And you can click right here to watch another the video that I promise you'll enjoy just as much as this one, if not a little bit more. <gasps> what the frick just happened?